I'll take I'll take the nerves and the heart rate being up for the three points every day of the week. So City scores fairly early in the game, and you made that one goal lead stand up. Um, and to be fair, they had some very good chances, uh, some chances that definitely want back. Um, do you feel the, the three points is a, a fair result on the night? Yeah, I think that they definitely had some had some looks for sure, especially in the first half when we struggled to do a little bit of rotating. They found uh, number nine, Diego Rebecca, out wide a bunch, and he was causing Max some problems. On the flip side, Max was also defending really well when a player is that good in, in individually skill-wise. So uh, that's just kind of the trade-off there with our shape and style. So they were able to exploit it a little bit, which, again, gave them some looks. But also think on the flip side today, I think us, again, leaving with only one goal based off of our chances is, is really harsh for us. We had two posts. Two breakaways. Their keeper made a phenomenal save on Eli on the swivel and shot from like eight yards away. So I think they had some looks that they could have punished us on. I think we had some looks we could have punished them on. So all in all, I, I think that it was a deserved three points. And I think that all of us will always have a little bit of bias towards our own teams. But I definitely think it was a deserved three today. Um, two clean sheets in a row now. Um, what is behind that? I think that, again, when, when you're able to be on the ball more and defend all the way up the field, you're now dominating and dictating where the game is played. So, you know, we're now defending in our defensive third way less. And even when we are, we're getting 10 men behind the ball and making it go backwards and start all over again. So for the most part, I think that Evan has made a couple of nice saves uh, these last couple of games. But I also think that they've been also decently deserved clean sheets. Like, again, they could have punished us today, but um, – Evan has made saves that he's supposed to make. I don't think he's had to make too many crazy worldies, and uh, we can only save the shots that are put on target. You're on the sideline, um, former city player, but you, you can't be out there anymore. Um, it's five minutes of added time um, announced, and it's maybe more than that that takes off. Um, what is it, what is it going through your head while you're waiting for the final? Whistle I think that I asked Matt Van Vinscoten like four times how much time was left on, in stoppage because he started the timer for us. Um, it's funny because when you're out there playing, you don't get that nervous because you're just like in your locked in your flow state. But like over there, I'm just sitting there like, all right, how long has it been? How long has it been? How long has it been? While still trying to communicate and organize things that we want. And I think again, if we could have, if we could have scored one of those goals in the last 10 minutes, my, my heart rate would have dropped a lot, or we would have gone to the corner a little bit more than trying to get that second one and kill off the game that way. That would have been a little bit better. But, I mean, I think that we, we had the looks to try to kill it off in a different way. But, um, again, I'll take, I'll take the nerves and the heart rate being up for the three points every day of the week. Thunder Bay uh, have been a quality team for years. Um, we got our first draw against the Chill last year. This is our first win against the Chill. Uh, how does that feel? It's, it's awesome because I told the guys, even after the RKC match when we lost 3-1, to one, I said, yeah, RKC could have beat us by, by a little bit more, but we also could have scored some more on the flip side of that. We went toe-to-toe -to -toe with one of the best teams in the league. And that, even though we didn't earn the results like we talked about in that interview, I was like, you guys, if we, if we eliminate the bad turnovers and we do a better job of winning first, seconds, and thirds, and we win the set-piece battle, we, we can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with every single team in this league. So we got to see playing against them. We beat Rochester. We now beat the league leaders last year who had nine wins, one loss, and two draws. I think that, again, we are starting to build a little bit of momentum, um, having conceded a goal in almost five full halves of soccer now. Uh, and even though we've only scored uh, once in the, in the last two games, I think that we could have left two games ago with like three and today with five. So I think we're creating and we're just we're waiting for that dam to break.